What's up everyone, Danny Lightning here, and today we're going to be talking about the difference between a large diaphragm condenser microphone and a small diaphragm condenser microphone. And there's a lot of misconceptions that one is better than the other, but that's not necessarily true. They are both very different and excel at different things. So a small diaphragm condenser, these are great for picking up detail on the high end. In a small diaphragm condenser, the part that vibrates in there is smaller and it's able to react faster. Therefore, it can pick up details that a large diaphragm misses. If you're recording acoustic instruments where you want to get that finger noise on the strings, or if you're opening a can of pop or peeling off some tape and you want to get those little teeny intricate detailed subtle sounds, a small diaphragm condenser may be the one for you. Now a large diaphragm microphone has a much larger capsule, the piece that vibrates inside of there reacts a little bit slower so it does miss a little bit of those, those little intricate details. But generally a large diaphragm microphone has a little bit bigger, a little bit warmer sound, picks up a little bit more of the low end so it's a, usually a bassier, warmer sounding microphone overall but just a little bit less detailed. Now, all condenser microphones are very detailed, but a small diaphragm condenser will be just a little bit more detailed. So bottom line is a large diaphragm is better at handling higher sound pressure levels and low frequencies. The two main types of small diaphragm condenser will be your pencil microphone and your shotgun microphone. Now, one of these is much better for indoors and one's much better for outdoors. And We'll talk about that in another upcoming video, but anyways, that's pretty much the deal. Small diaphragm picks up all the little teeny intricate details. Large diaphragm sounds bigger, fuller, and warmer, and yeah, that's pretty much the difference right there. Currently, you're hearing me talk on a large diaphragm condenser, so let's go over and switch over to a small diaphragm condenser for the rest of the video. All right, so let's go ahead and finish off the rest of this video using this small diaphragm condenser microphone. You're probably going to notice it's picking up more high-end detail, but it may not sound as warm and bassy. But overall, these are great microphones. So if you just want to pick up those little teeny details or you're doing ASMR or some kind of wacky wild thing like that, you might want to check out one of these small diaphragm condenser microphones. If you want that bigger, bassier, fuller sound, you might want to check out a large diaphragm condenser microphone. And yeah, I should really be using a pop filter or something with this. But anyways, you guys get the idea. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Lightning out. Have an awesome day. And don't forget to drop down the video's description. You'll see my other YouTube channels, my Discord server, ways to help support the channel, and all kinds of good stuff like that. Have a great day. Stay awesome, and we will catch you next time. See ya.